Breathing pretty heavily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we haven't even gone very high. But kind of these like ruins behind. This little island over beside. Dino made none today. <laughs> Listen here. It turned out semi all right. None so good. <laughs> <laughs> none so good indeed. <laughs> but it's definitely edible and quite tasty. Really well seasoned. So I am improvising a bit of a dal, not my normal recipe, but a little vegan bolognese style if you will and we'll see how that turns out we just needed something really nice and saucy <laughs> to dip our naan in basically <laughs> that's dinner tonight and our current view we've got neighbors very rudely close i'll show you they're just there doesn't look it on the camera actually do you know <laughs> they look miles away. Yeah, it's like when it swings the right way. Yeah, quite a busy bay. Our good stuff mates have left us. Well, there's go karts in the Maris. And instead, we've got noisy, not pleasant noise, just annoying noise next door. And now I'm just whinging. What have you found? There's go karts in the Maris. Oh, sick! Yeah. We're currently um, opposite. Where are we? Oh. <laughs> no, I'd have to show Turkey. you. Have to show you a map. We're in Turkey. But we are pretty much due east of Dutcha, in like the farthermost corner of this Gulf, eastern corner of this Gulf. Yeah. And we are planning a sail. Dino's just been doing a passage plan, haven't you? A rough one, yeah. <laughs> We've been doing a passive plan, actually, get <laughs> around the peninsula somewhat. Do you know, just give us some credit to get around the peninsula to Osborne. Should be like 20 miles. Meet up with good stuff again, potentially, hopefully. 
they're a little bit ahead of us, so we'll be racing tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see how we go. This bit. Thank you, sir. All good day, Captain? All good. All good. Sails are out. Put a reef in the main. And a reef in Jenny. Second reef, I think. Second reef in Jenny. And we out. caught a fish ah! but we lost it still don't have it <laughs> almost had our first fish and we lost it just out there trying to pull it in coming through that tiny wee little gap with I think it might have been a little traffic tuna. in all directions little tuna he reckons yeah. anyway I'll try again yeah it was a bit hectic we were giving way to well, people people had to give way to us we we're sailing in through the wind trees, so and it was pretty rough out there. It's beautiful in here, but yeah, it's really nice. It's a cute little town. Another one to the list. I'm on the gears for the first time this morning. That's terrifying. <laughs> Dino's up there doing the anchor instead.
you know. Do you want to tell our mad story from today? Not really, actually. Do you want me to? Yeah. There were some people anchored just over here. Who got their anchor stuck? There's like a rock face. It's the most beautiful spot. It's like this idyllic bay. But there's like rock all along here. And then there's a little bit of sand here. <laughs> and then more rock. <laughs> and the poor things were like anchored beside us and got their anchor caught under a rock or part of a rock and they were reefing on it, reefing on it, reefing on it. Pretty sure they broke their windlass because there was this almighty clunk that happened um, at one point. So Dino went over, tried to help, managed to lift the anchor out from under the rock and tried to give them a little bit of Because they're windless, I'm pretty sure they damaged it in trying to reef the anchor out in the first place. Their windless just let go of all the chain as they were trying to bring it up. So the anchor was free, but then they dropped about 60, 70 meters of chain. Dino was at the bow trying to watch the anchor and get it up or tell them to go forward, back, left, right so that it wouldn't get wedged in this swimming, like watching. rock face. He was like swimming watching it. <laughs> oh, and then they got within like, you know, 10 meters of chain left out. Anchor was free. Dino was telling them, you're all good, you're all good, lift. Meanwhile, they can't speak great English. We can't speak any Turkish. Um, he was telling them lift, lift. And the guy was obviously paying attention to the windlass, lifting the chain up. The lady, I just think she'd never driven the boat, so she didn't have great awareness of what was going on. She didn't realize they were coming straight for our boat. I was on the back of our boat saying, drive the boat, drive the boat, <laughs> trying to get the boy's attention. Because <laughs> I knew that they would like direct her, or they had already been directing her the whole time, like where to drive and forward, back, whatever. So I started yelling, jumped down and started our boat because I was like, I'm going to have to drive our boat out of her way because she's got no idea. <laughs> Finally managed to get the boy's attention and her attention and she just reefed it into reverse. It, it like blew out smoke and everything. She like revved it so hard, but it was kind of required because at that point they were like literally within three meters of our bow. <laughs> Dino was still in the water with our sup tied to their boat trying to like hang off the sup to keep giving them guidance on where the anchor and their chain was and blah 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 and it was just far out it was the biggest drama so yeah <laughs> but they eventually got the anchor and then it was slipping when they were trying to set it in the what is that called what the anchor sits in I have no idea but it has like its catch where the anchor sits at the bow oh, of the boat. The anchor just the anchor roller, yeah. But he couldn't get it up that like last half a meter into the anchor roller to secure it um, for whatever reason. So Dino was like, do you have a rope? Do you have a line? I'll tie it to the bottom of your anchor and we can cleat it up so that at least it's secure and safe. And then if the chain or windlass slips, the anchor's not gonna dive down into the water again like it did before. And this guy was just like, no. No, I have no rope. I have no line. <laughs> so we were like, I was yelling to Dino. I was like, do you want me to bring some line? <laughs> and then they, I don't know, the windlass must have started working or he managed to get it up into the roller and it was secure. And then they were well clear of our boat at that point. And Dino was like, drive slowly <laughs> that way. <laughs> like, directing them away from us because <laughs> oh man we tried to help them out and they almost ended up taking us out it was quite stressful he was trying um, to get it he, yeah he was, he was trying to get it unstuck by yeah just reefing like it eight knots and just and just smashing on it and yeah was like, it was no good I'm pretty sure he broke off the rock that it was stuck on off the shelf and then yeah he just had to drive forward quite stressful like it would have eased out like oh yeah yeah anyway 
Well done for helping, Dino. <laughs>